Good morning, everyone. Hello, hello. Give us a thumbs morning. up if you can hear me. Hi, g'day, Zach, Evie. How you going, Reed? Hi, everyone. Sorry, I apologise. I am not Abby, so I apologise again. Uh, for those that have tuned in, hoping to see Abby. Uh, Abby's unwell this morning, so I'm feeling in. Um, I, uh, I know it's not the same. I can't be Abby, unfortunately, but I'll do my very, very best. Uh, Abby has designed us a wonderful session uh, that I will do my best to execute on her behalf. So we will, uh, today, we'll, we'll do our usual mix of, uh, we'll do a warm up, we'll do some ball handling, we'll do some footwork stuff. We're gonna keep moving the whole time. So as little talking from me as possible, uh, you will need, obviously, your basketball. You will need, uh, if you've got it, a couple of markers or a couple of cones we might put to use at some stage as well for a couple of footwork drills. So if you've got something to mark uh, a spot with or even if you just want to use a couple of rocks or something like that, that's okay as well. Uh, if you've got a skipping rope, that would be handy. But if you don't, don't stress. Don't worry about it because we can just do, we're going to do line hops on the spot. So... All right, let's get started, guys. So I'm just going to hide my camera here. Uh, spotlight me. So I should be the big one now. And that'll work for you guys. And I can see all of you. So no basketballs to begin with. We're going to go 30 seconds. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. We've got high knees to begin with. Set up. And away we go. High knees to begin with, so we're just jogging on the spot, driving our knees up, making sure we're pumping our arms. So here we go. Let's get it moving on a Sunday morning. Oh, hope you all had a nice sleep in. On the balls of our feet, so making sure our heels aren't hitting the ground. And rest. Good job, okay, 10 seconds rest. And then we're straight into our butt kicks. So we're kicking our heels up behind us. And away we go. Kicking our heels up behind us. You can have your hands here if you like. You can do these on the move as well. If you've got space and you want to jog forward and back or side to side, I'm just doing them on the spot. Move back a little bit. Five seconds. And rest. Okay, for these, this next one, we've got walking lunges. So walking lunges, again, you can do these on the spot or uh, it's really up to you. You can do these on the spot or you can do them stationary. If you're gonna do them stationary, I would just do reverse lunges like so. So step back and come up and alternate legs. If you wanna do them on the move, that's okay as well. It can be a little bit easier to alternate. So go on for 30 seconds in three, two, one. Here we go, I'm gonna lunge it out. I'm gonna go forward. I'm going forward. Now I'm going to come back towards the camera. Here we go. Good job, guys. I'm doing four. I'm going to do one more lap, and then I'm going to come back. That'll get us to about 30 seconds. We'll do one more lap. Ah, the balloon doesn't eat my knees. Okay, and rest for 10. Good job. Hey, stop it. All right, next one we've got. We've got calf raises for 30 seconds. So we're going to go in five. Three, hey, two, one. Here we go. Calf raises. So we're up. I'm doing two feet at the same time. If you've got something to balance and hold on to, if you need it, that's great. If not, just calf raises. Warming up those muscles of our ankles, feet and calves. So all the way up onto our tippy toes as high as we can. And then slowly back down. Good job guys. 
Excellent. We have 10 seconds to go. Keep working. Calf raise all the way up. Three, two, and rest. Okay. Our last warm up exercise is our inchworm. So that's our, we, uh, as you call them, I think a walkout. I call them an inchworm. Same thing. Walking out. So again, we start here. We start here, we bend and touch our toes, and we walk our hands out in front of us into a push-up position. Okay, you can come down into a push-up if you really want to, and then you get a tippy-toe, 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 then you bend your knees, and bring your feet up to your hands. Turn around, and go back, okay? We're gonna do that, we're gonna do that for 30 seconds. Let's go. So bending over, touch your toes, bend your knees if you need to get your hands to the ground, walk your hands down into a plank, or the top of a push-up, come down for a push-up if you like. Tippy toe all the way up to meet your hands. Turn around and do it again. I'm out in the shed, so I need to stay on my mat so I don't get dirty. Here we go. Walk the hands out, switching on our core muscles, engaging our core muscles, holding in that plank. Push-up. And up we go. Tippy toe, tippy toe, tippy toe, tippy toe, meet our hands. Turn around and go again. Last one for me. Push up. Tippy toe, tippy toe, tippy toe. And away we go. All right. Let's grab our basketballs. Put that mat off to the side now. So. Again, for each of these exercises, I might just move my camera back just a little bit. I feel like I'm not quite fitting in to the picture. That's a bit better. Okay, so we're gonna go. 30 seconds on, 10 seconds off. All right, here we go. We've got our basketballs. Hopefully you guys have your basketball. Make sure you grab your ball. You're gonna need your ball for this next one. I can see a few without basketballs. There we go. Excellent, great. Oh, big trap. Love it. Good to see the Hunt family out there. Hey, guys. <laughs> How you going? All right, basketballs. Here we go. So we're just going to start nice and easy. We're going to be sort of jogging on the spot or we're doing finger taps, okay? So what that looks like is, that's what it looks like. So we're tapping at about shoulder height. You can go above your head if you like. And we're tapping the ball back and forth. I'm going to turn the light on too, that's probably, that might help. Okay, so jogging back and forth, just jogging on the spot, just staying on the ball of your feet. Tapping the ball in your fingertips. Good job. Excellent, guys. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay, now. You're gonna need a little bit of space, but you can do this state or relatively stationary. Okay, we're going walking. So it's like we're combining a lunge, but we're going ball through our leg. So we're getting into that lunge position. We're going for our leg. 30 seconds. So stay down nice and low. Stay down nice and low. Wrap that ball between your legs. All right, 30 seconds. Here we go, we're about 10 seconds in. Keep working. Through the legs, through the legs, through the legs, good job. Keep that energy up. We want to get a good huff and puff this morning. Get a sweat up, get, get our uh, Sunday off to a nice start. Good job. Excellent, keep working, we've got five seconds. Great job, guys. Come on, Katie, what are you doing? Come on, yeah, there we go, through the legs, good job. Good job, awesome. Okay, rest. We've got 10 seconds rest. Now we're gonna start dribbling. So we've warmed up our fingertips. We've got moving. Okay, we've got pound dribbles. We've got 30 seconds on right hand, 30 seconds on left hand. I've got my defender here with me. All right, <laughs> 30 seconds. Here we go, right hand pound dribble, get down into a squat. Right hand pound dribble. Three, two, one, here we go.
10 seconds rest, ready to go on our left hand. Here we go. Three, two, one. We're nearly got it then. Here we go. Down to the left hand now. Right up, protect him. Don't bend at the hips. Bend at the knees. Sack up. You see you getting at the hips with one hand on the left. Bend at the knees. So we're down in an athletic stance here. An imaginary chair. The lower the better. The lower the better. Get into good habits. Come on, guys. Go. Five seconds. There we go. Turn over. Three, two, one. Rest 10 seconds. Rest for 10. Then we've got a cross. So we've got pound cross. Pound cross. Here we go. Good work so far, guys. Keep going. We'll get a drink in about a minute and a half. Two, one. Here we go. Pound cross. Pound cross. Right, let's get a move. Great work. Next one, we're going in and out. In and out, right hand, in and out, left hand. Then we're going to move into our footwork. So we're in and out without the cross just yet. Great work, guys. How's everyone feeling? Give me a thumbs up. Get moving. Good. Good to see Kelly out there. Trav, Kelly can show you how it's done. Good stuff. All right, here we go. In and out for 30. In three, two, one. So I'm right hand. Remember, shift. Shift your body weight across your body. So turn shoulder. Turn shoulder. It's almost like a jab. It's like a jab step. Without crossing without actually crossing the ball over. Okay, so every bit of movement. Okay, I'm going to sell the defender. So I sell the defender and I'm driving to my left here. And down low in the stance. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Ten seconds rest. I'm seeing a lot of you listening. I'm seeing a lot of you standing up tall. Standing up like this. You're in and out like this. You're in and out like this. No one's buying it, okay? No one's buying it. It's weak old milk. No one's buying it, okay? Show me a real in and out cross, yeah? We're blues players, okay? That's what we got to do. In and out, I've got to turn my shoulders. All right, I'll turn my shoulders, turn my hip. My defender, my opponent thinks, whoop, I got to shift my feet. This guy's going by me, okay? Next minute, oh, I'm coming back the same way. Footwork is really important with this one. Here we go. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Turn shoulders and hips. Drop that. I'm on my left hand now, so I'm stepping out with my right foot. So I'm lunging out with my right foot, not too far. But I'm stepping, I'm stepping, I'm attacking, I'm attacking their outside foot. I want them to go into that drop step. I want them to go into that drop step in the wrong direction. So I'm going back that way. Here we go. Keep working. Five seconds. Three. One. Go. One more drill, one more drill, and then we get a break, then we get a drink. Okay, so this one is like a skip. We did it, uh, Abby does it every week, I think. We did it last time when I took this session. So we're doing like a gallop across the screen. So it's a crossover, but I'm stretching that dribble out, okay? So I'm stretching that dribble out, and I'm adding, I'm adding like a little skip in between. So if we take the basketball out of it for a second, for those that aren't super confident, it's almost like an icky shuffle where I step and then step again. So as soon as my 
As soon as my, so I'm going from my right over to my left. As soon as my right foot touches the ground or is about to touch the ground, my left foot takes off. Back to my right. As soon as my left foot's coming, it pushes off and I go to my right. All right, so we're gonna do that. Crossing over in front and crossing over behind the back. Here we go. I'm starting going from my left to my right. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Cross and step it out. Cross and hang that dribble out. You can pound in between if you want. Pound dribble in between if you want. Try and make some mistakes. Push yourself so hard that you fumble the ball. Oh, watch out, Luna. Oh, watch out, Luna. Oh, got it. Okay, push yourself so hard. Pound that triple. I can see some fumbles. Five seconds, bit shuffle. Rest 10 seconds and maybe a little more. Oh, I'm huffing and puffing here. How are we going there? How are we going, Alyssa? Katie, are we going well? Give us a thumbs up. Hunt boys, how are we doing? Ben, you're awesome. Has Kelly crossed anyone up yet? Yep. She's got a thumbs up. Yep, she's crossed Trav up. <laughs> Thought I saw Trav fall over. All right. Now we're going behind the back. So this is pretty advanced. Uh, we want you to challenge yourself, but if, you, if you're not quite there yet, some of you just, it might be difficult to get the ball behind your back just, just anatomically. You might, your arms might not be long enough. Just stick with the cross in front, with the skip, okay? For those that have, have done this drill before, we're gonna go behind the back. So we're the same thing, but we're adding that skip behind the back. So this move, just to put it into your game sense, okay? We may not just stand here at the top of the key and then we just go cross, cross, cross. But if you think about the footwork, it's very similar to someone who's on TV playing right now, James Harden. When he makes a drive, and he wants to, that escape dribble that he uses, that drag that he uses to get into his jump shot is very similar to this step across, step across, except instead of going side to side, he goes forward to back. So that footwork is very similar to really stretch out that step back. Here we go behind the back, behind the back for 30, three, two, one, here we go. Ooh, should be some mistakes here. Behind the back, stay facing the camera for now. Here we go, step across, There's one dribble all the way across. One dribble to get you all the way across. So that ball, that basketball almost spinning in your fingers. So the ball almost spins in your fingers. Oh, there's a pump. There's a turnover. Here we go. Three. No, another turnover. Two, watch out, Luna. One. Good job. Have a pause. Let's rest for a minute. Grab a drink. So that's a tough move. It's especially tough to teach on a, on a Zoom screen, but the way the ball looks in your fingers, if I'm going from my left to my right here, it's almost spinning in my hand. So I can see a couple of you are going behind the back dribble, behind the back and you're putting the ball to the floor again straight away, which is okay. But to make that skip across, if you can watch the ball in my hand right here, the, the ball actually, I don't actually cuff the ball. I don't, it's sort of spinning in my hand and I, as I skip across. So it's one dribble to get all the way across. See how the ball kept spinning? I had grabbed it and then started dribbling again. I skipped and then I come into that second step. All right, we've got some footwork stuff now, okay? So we're gonna go into some footwork stuff. So we've got some line hops. I want to move into, uh, I want to incorporate the basketball into these as much as we possibly can. So, we've got forward and back line hops, okay? So forward and back line hops, all of it is 30 seconds with 10 seconds rest. Then we've got sideways line hops, uh, and then we've got alternating feet, okay? 
With the forward and back line hops, what I want to do is I've got a crack in the concrete just here. I'm going to challenge you guys just a little bit. You don't have to do this. Forward and back line hops, if you want to just go forward and back with the basketball in your hands, that's fine. Okay, we'll call that level one. That's fine. Forward and back for 30 seconds. Over and back, over and back with the ball in your hands. Okay, if you want to add something else to trick your brain a little bit, add some finger taps. Add some finger taps. Okay, so we're tapping the basketball as we're hopping. All right, that's pretty tough. Okay, that's pretty tough. So adding the finger hops. If you want another level, we go finger hops overhead. Ooh, finger hops over our head. Like so. I know you can't see the ball, but it was over my head. But like that. So we're jumping forward and back, ball over our head. 30 seconds, then we're going side to side. Here we go. Three, two, one. Here we go. I'm just going in front of my chest. 30 seconds, over and back. So we're shifting our weight forward and back, staying on the balls of our feet. Let's work hard here. We've got about 10 minutes to go in the session. Keep working. Forward and back. Just little finger taps. Good job. 15 seconds down. Here we go. Keep working. Woo. I know I'm going to slow up. Keep going, guys. Finger taps. If you want to go overhead, perfect. We've got five seconds. Good job. Three, two, one. Awesome. Awesome work. Okay. We'll add a little bit more of a challenge. Now we're going side to side. Side to side line hops. Okay. Same again. If you want to hold the basketball, that's fine. Just hold it, hop across. Okay, this time, fingertips. We're going to go listening here. We're actually just going to go little tosses. So we're just going to go little tosses with our left hand. So I'm just, top, I'm just tapping it up as I jump across. And at 15 seconds, I'll swap and I'll go my right hand. Okay, so we're just getting the feeling of the basketball in our fingertips again. Okay, getting accustomed with that. And again, same again, if you want to go overhead with the taps, go overhead. So overhead, up nice and high, arms up. As you're jumping, just little taps. Okay, but single hand. I'll tell you when we get to 15 seconds. So you know to swap hands if you're doing a single hand one. Side to side hops. Here we go. Three, two, one. I'm going to go a little, little low one-handers. Little low one-handers. Here we go. Let's get our feet moving here. Let's really get moving side to side. Little taps. Little taps. Little taps. Good. Keep working. Keep working. Good job. Okay, that's 15. Swap to the left hand. If you're doing single hand, swap to the left hand. Good job. Good job. Oh, coordination. It's testing me a bit. Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, quick rest. Quick rest. Grab a drink. We've got about five minutes to go. Good job, guys. Keep working. Grab a quick drink if you need it. Grab a quick drink if you need it. You've got about 30 seconds. Now, now for those that do, that do my get up and go session, uh, the strength and conditioning session, you'll know that I love this movement. So it's a, like a skater hop. Uh, we usually do it with a stick. So we usually jump across from one leg to the other and we focus on the stick. But today we're going to just do it continuously because we're trying to get our heart rate up a little bit. So all I will say is just be cautious if you haven't done a lot of this movement before and you haven't practiced actually jumping and sticking that landing, don't jump as far as you can possibly jump. Just do little sideways skater hops. So here, just little ones. If you're a little bit more experienced, you can stretch it out a bit and push across from leg to leg. We're skating across and across. 
Okay, first level again, basketball in our hands, across, across, we're shifting the ball across. So see how I'm shifting it across like a Euro step. So I'm ripping it across in front of my, over my defender's arm. So it's like my defender's arm's here trying to swipe the ball. I'm ripping the ball over, ripping the ball over their arm. I'm about to go up for a finish. Okay, another. I've only got two levels for this one. The second level, let's see if I can actually do it, is behind the back. Behind the back. So we're jumping, and we're wrapping the ball behind the back in the direction we're jumping. Okay, so I'm jumping to my left, I wrap it left, jump to my right, I wrap it right. Okay, so again, that's next level. Give it a go though. I think all of you, I think all of you can give it a crack. But make sure you focus on just keeping moving. Okay, so if it's too difficult to go behind your back, just, just wrap it across and keep moving. Here we go. 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Jumping across. I'm going to wrap it over. Let's get into that skater jump. Skater jump. Here we go. Skaters, I'm wrapping over for 15. And then I'm going behind my back for 15. Keep moving. Stay on the hop. Here we go. Jumping, jumping, ball of your feet. Ball of your feet. Just wrapping low. So I go from hip to hip. Here we go. 15. Go behind the back. Behind the back. I know it's tough. Ooh. Here we go. Ooh. Here we go. Good job. Back to wrapping over. So we're going hip to hip. Ripping high, finishing low. Five seconds. Good job, guys. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Awesome. Whew. Have a breather. You've got about 15 seconds. Next one. So our last jumping drill. Or our last hopping drill that we're going to finish off with. Now we're going forward and back. All right. So we're jumping from our left foot. Forward to our right foot, back to our left foot. Forward to our right, back to our left. We're going to do that for 30, and then we're going to jump from our right foot forward, landing on our left foot, back to our right foot. The whole time that you do this, the aim is that your other foot doesn't touch the ground. So what I mean is, if I'm on my left foot here, I jump forward and I land on my right foot, but I don't need to put that other leg down and stabilize. We're trying to work on stabilizing, but we're also trying to get our heart rate up. Okay, so we're going to try and find the balance. My tip, don't jump too far. Don't jump too far. Just little jumps is fine to begin with. Okay, so we're jumping forward and back. All right, forward and back. Here we go for 30. So I'm going left foot, and I'm going on a slight diagonal, out to my right, back to my left. Out to my right, back to my left. Here we go, three, two, one. Here we go, out and back, out and back. Stay on the balls of your feet. Stay on the balls of your feet, good job. Out and back, forward and back. Keep working guys, good job. Throw that little jump in there, Reed. That's it, ball in both hands, ball in both hands. Here we go. So get comfortable with that basketball in our hands. Forward and back. Here we go. 10 seconds. Keep working. See if you can speed it up a little bit. See if you can go a little harder. There we go. Get that heart rate up. Jump back and forth. Three, two, one. I'm going to count out the 10 here. One, Mississippi. Two, Mississippi. Then we're going right leg to left leg. Four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi. I am tired. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Here we go. Right foot to left foot. Let's go. Opposite side now. Let's keep it moving. Get the heart rate up. Finish up the session strong. Woo. Push back and forth. There we go. This is great for working on that step back. It's great for working on that step back. That drag dribble. Create space for your jump shot, Euro steps, it's a whole works. Here we go. We've got 10 seconds. See if we can speed it up for the last 10. Let's go. Speed it up. 
Good job, keep going, keep going. Hold it back. Great work. Three, two, one. Oh, great work, guys. Oh. Tell you what, oh, I am bugging. Great job, guys. We're going to do a quick warm down. We'll stretch it out. Okay, we'll just do some, some very light dynamic and then some static stretching. Uh, looks like it's going to be a nice day there, so I can see a lot of you are outside, which is great. Enjoy that weather. We're going to just quickly do, hey, Luna, just going to quickly do a quad stretch, really quickly, trying to balance on the spot. Let's just grab our, grab our foot, stretch it out, nice and gentle. Okay, we're just gonna add, you guys know I love an arabesque. Okay, we're just gonna add a little balance to that. When we come forward and we're stretching out that, that left hamstring, we're also stretching out that quad. Okay, then we go the other leg, left foot. I've got my left foot in my left hand, and then I'm going to bend at the hip. Whoop, bend at the hip, focus on one point on the ground. So a really important thing with balancing on this one, focus on a bit of dirt on the concrete or a bit of dirt on the carpet or whatever you've got. And come forward, and stretch down, stretching that right hamstring out. Oh, good work. Okay, if you've got a wall, or you've got something you can use to balance. I'm going to turn my camera around to my shed wall. Okay, we're just going to go some leg swings. So just nice and gentle, five on either leg. So if you've got somewhere to balance, five forward on my right, five forward on my left. Great work, guys. Really good session today. Great turnout, I can see you guys are working really hard. It's fantastic. And then we're gonna go across our body. So you guys, some of you have already done it. We go across our body gently for five. So we're warming up our hips. We're gonna warm up our hips. Go across our body for five. Stretching out our hips here, across our body. And last one, just a couple of calf pumps. So we've got a wall there, perfect. We're just using the wall, just pushing the wall over. Okay, I'll move this back a little bit so you can see me. Okay, we're just pushing the wall over. So, what it looks like here, but we're gonna do, we're gonna do both legs at the same time. So you're actually gonna be, you can see my legs, we're actually pumping our feet. So we're actually, both legs are back, but we're bending, one knee and then the other. Bending one knee and then the other. So we're just pumping our calves a little bit. That's it, good job. Just stretching out those Achilles. Great work, guys. Awesome, that's it. All right, finish up there. Woo. Great work, everyone. Great session today, okay? I'm, I'm a sweaty mess here. Oh, sweaty mess. I don't know if you can see me. I don't know if you can see Luna. You've worn Luna out. Hi. She's having a nap. Hey, Ben, how are you, mate? How you doing? Good to see you. Great job, guys. We're going to finish there. Um, I'll see you if you want to tune in tomorrow morning. Uh, I've got the up and go. Get up and go. Uh, strength and conditioning. No worries, Taylor. See you later. Um, and then we've also got our girls only. Train with me tomorrow night with Courtney Wilkins, which will be great for the girls if you want to jump in with Court. Uh, yeah, you know where the schedule is. If you want to jump online, check out the schedule. There's something every day for you guys. Um, stay positive, stay healthy. It's a beautiful day outside, enjoy it. Enjoy it, get outside, get some shots up, play around, do something. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get some good news soon, guys. Great job, I'll see you all Thank soon. You Thank you. Thank you, Jared. Bye. Bye. See you later. Thank you, Jared. Bye. Where's your hat, Trav? <laughs> I need a new one. Where's your hat? I'm doing my best Travis Hunt impersonation. Come on, mate. Where is it? I need hey, a you're new more one. Handsome, you're more handsome than me, mate. Come on. Uh, I doubt it. I don't think so. I need a new one as well. I've swept through this one now, so I don't know how Abby does it every uh, Sunday morning. <laughs> Thanks, Jared. Appreciate it, mate. You're good Great work. to see you guys. See you later. See you guys.
Bye. Bye.